it's Linda here and today I've got this project for you. Okay, um, the other day I made a video for this flower and um, I told you I was going to be using it for an upcoming box project of mine. Well this is it. Okay, so this is one of these glue free boxes. Um, I've made a lipstick sized one. I took a Poodle's design and I resized that one and I downscaled it. Well this time I've taken her design and I've upscaled it and I've upscaled it to this size which is quite a decent size and inside we have a pack of Ferrero Rocher so you can buy these in these packs of four from most supermarkets now um, and I think this is just a really nice way if you want to give somebody a little treat a stocking filler or anything like that this is a perfect little box and as you can see it stays together really really well you don't need any glue Okay, um, so I'm going to put it to one side now um, and I'm going to show you how you can put it together. What I did want to say was you've probably noticed the beautiful foil paper. Okay, so these foil papers are a new addition to the Celebration brochure. So if you place an order of £45 plus, um, not including shipping charges. So an order of £45 will, en will enable you to select a free item from the Celebration catalogue. And there were a few new additions to that catalogue which came out on the 16th of February. Um, they're available until the 31st of March. And these are called the Springtime Foils and they really are beautiful papers. So I'm just going to quickly show you those before I put the project together. So here they are, so you've got four beautiful designs, they're only on one side, so they're one-sided. So we've got this lovely copper spotty design here, Okay, so they're just white on the other side there. Then we've got the papers that I'm using for today's project, I love those, I think they're so pretty. Then we've got these gorgeous smart stripes, silver stripes, and then this beautiful, it's like a rose gold um, foil actually with gold as well. So these papers, like I say, a pack of those, there's um, 12 per pack, three of each design, and these can be obtained free with an order of £45. If you spend £90, you can pick two packets of them. Um, but yeah, there's still lots of um, other freebies available in the Celebration catalogue as well. So for, just think of it in terms of each £45 you spend, you can pick a, th a free out, um, item. So anyway, I just thought I'd quickly show you those beautiful papers because I think they're too nice to just pass by. Okay, so that's it. I am definitely putting this to one side now and I'm going to show you how you can put it together. So thanks very much for joining me here today. Okay, so for this project, your cardstock needs to measure eight and three quarters by seven and a half. And starting on the short side, which measures seven and a half, you're going to score. Actually, I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to turn this over because this beautiful foiled DSP um, doesn't take very kindly to being scored on the on the pretty side. Okay, it has a tendency to um, not fare very well. So for this one, I'm turning it over. So pretty side down. And on the seven and a half inch side, you're going to score at one and a half, at three. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> and at four and a half, and at six. Okay, then you're going to turn it round, and you're going to score at one and a half. And at seven and a quarter. Okay. So you can get rid of the board. I'm going to get rid of this dirty sheet of paper as well. Oh, didn't prepare that very well, did I? <laughs> so anyway, what you're going to need now is a straight edge, because we're just going to do a couple of diagonal score lines. Okay. So. What you're going to do is, if we look at, you've got one, two, you probably can't see it very well, but you should have five squares along the top here. And in the second square here from your left-hand side, you're going to score 
Let me see. I'll come in if I can. Will this help? Just. Still not brilliant. Okay. Just bear with me. So what you're going to do is on this second square, you're going to score from this corner here to that corner. Okay. So do it a couple of times. Two or three times. And then you're going to skip the middle one and you're going to go to this one and you're going to score from this corner down to here so diagonally okay and I'm just going to turn it around and do the same on the other end so we're going from the second square in from the left here and this one So that is all of your scoring done. So now what we're going to do is just gently fold these lines. And I'm just going to crease mine with my fingers. I'm not going to use a bone folder. Okay. So just find the score and gently crease. So now we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up like this. You're going to find those schools there and just gently rub. And the same here. So, oops, bring this over, push that back. Bring this one up and over. Okay, now you can see there on this one, so you can learn from my mistake, I scored too heavily on that diagonal, alright? The others are fine, but that's just slightly torn the paper. So learn from my mistake there and don't overscore. Okay, so now it's a question of grabbing our lovely chocolates. And you'll see they sit in there rather nicely, like that. And press this one in like this. Okay, so that slides down like that. Now, what I've actually found as well is it's to make the the box sit nice and flush each end when it's closed. What you what what helps is if you just cut off a very very fine slither on each of these four corners. So I'm quickly going to do that. So I'll just take my snips and I'll show you what I mean. Well, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny slither. Just up to that score line. So you can see, look, hardly a thing that's worth doing. So it just helps the box shut a little bit nicer. It just gives the end more of a flush finish. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So we're going to do that the, op the opposite ends as well. So just tiny tiny slither barely a thing okay so go back to putting them in so this comes up like this we're putting pressure here on that point and your box will go down like that so we do the same at this end so pressure here and the end will curl in. Bring this one and then we bring turn it round. And we're going to bring this one up. Okay, we're going to do the same. So putting some pressure here and you'll find that tucks down there like that. Okay, just squeeze those up a bit, turn it round. Gentle pressure there, and this will fold in. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so we just took like a very fine slither off of each of these and it just helps this shut a bit nicer. Um, if you don't, it's kind of, it's almost like too wide. It's difficult to explain really, but also this bit sits nicer here as well if you do take off just those slithers like that. So that's the finished um, box and you can see that's held together really well with no good glue. Now, the other day I did a video and I showed you how I made this beautiful flower and I made this using the duet balloon punch okay so I used these papers for this project so I've made it well in advance so if you would like to take a look at how to make this beautiful flower I do have a separate video for that and I will put a link below the description on this YouTube um, channel for this particular project so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off now by popping that on the top here and um, for that I'm just going to use some dimensionals okay so I've got a few of those here oops I don't really want to stick them to my finger I think what I'll do is I will One on the edge here, on this edge. Okay, and just find the centre. Does help if you take the sticky backy off. <laughs> right, let's try again. Yeah, that'll do. That's round about the centre. So that's now beautifully in place. And so there is my glue-free box, which holds a pack of these lovely Ferrero Rochers. Okay, just opens like that. So you can make this up and store it away nice and flat for a rainy day for when you need it. But um, I do think it's a cracking little box, this one. Um, I took one of Pootle's designs and I, I resized it to hold lipstick and the other day I was sitting down looking at that packet of Ferrero Rochers and I have to say it's a miracle they're still here and haven't been eaten. Uh, um, but I just thought it'd be really nice to take one of those designs or one of those boxes and resize it, upsize it to hold a pack of those. So anyway, that's my video for today. I do hope you've enjoyed this project. Um, I'd love it if you haven't already done so, if you were to hop across to my blog and subscribe. My blog is www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. On there, you'll find a link to my 24 hour online store and you can order any of the things you've seen me using here today. So thanks very much for joining me and I'll be back with another project for you very shortly. Bye for now.